Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part four of the same topic that is the menstruation. So we already done four questions. You can look at it. It's in the previous video. So we'll start with question number five. They said find the area of the quadrature shown in figure. So this figure is given. So now what you can see from this figure, you can see this two rectangles. Sorry, these are the two triangles. So we can consider this as one and this two, and the naming also is given. So we can say that triangle DAB. So first now you know, now this is a right angle triangle. So what we can say, the formula for right angle is this is going to be area of triangle DAB. So that will have base into height. So this is the base and this is the height. This is 11. So now when you put the values in this one, so what you can see, when you multiply this and this, that is going to be 101.2 centimeter square. Now we'll see for this triangle. So we can consider this BCD. So this again, the formula is going to be the same. So half into, this is the, this is the base of it. And this is the height. So what you can see, 15 into 20. So this is 15 into 20. So when you simplify this, that is going to be 150 centimeters square. So now what did they say? Find the area of the quadrilateral. Means this is a quadrilateral. So we have to find the area of that. So what you have to do? We have to combine this area plus this area. So we got here 101.2. And here we got 150 centimeters square. So area of quadrilateral. This is the sign for the quadrilateral ABCD. That is triangle. The area of triangle DAB plus area of triangle this BCD. So when you add this one, you get 251.2 centimeters square. So now you have the said, find the cost of polishing a rhombus shape table with diagonals. In rhombus, the, we can see these are the diagonals of it. This inside this one, these are the, called the di diagonals of it. So that is 1.6 meter and 2.8 meter. The rate of polishing is rupees 20 per 100 centimeter square. So now let us consider there are two diagonals in this rhombus. So we can say let D1 and D, D2 be the lengths of the diagonals of a rhombus. So area of rhombus is what? The formula for this one, you have to remember that is half into product product of diagonals. Product means you have to multiply the diagonals. So now half into D1 into D2. So the diagonals are given 1.6 and 2.8. So you can put the values over here and then simplify. It. So that is going to be 2.24 meter square. So the area of rhombus is 2.24 meter square. Now they have given the rate of polishing is rupees 20 per 100 centimeter square. Now these the, this the diagonals were the, the, this were the dimensions were in meter and this is given in centimeter square. So what your rate of polishing is given 100 centimeter square that is rupees 20. So first thing we have to convert that meter to centimeter. So what will you do here? One meter, you know that is 100 centimeter. So whenever you have one meter square means what will you do? You will put here one, two, here are two, right? So that is going to be four zero. So that is going to be one meter square is 10,000 centimeter square. So now we have 2.24 meter square. So below this, we are going to write below meter square. You are going to write here, will be how much centimeter square. So this you are going to cross multiply. So 2.24 into this one divided by one. So this will be when you multiply this one, 224, four zeros you will put here two four zeros and this is after two decimals means here you are going to put a decimal sign so these are that will be 22,400 so this is that 2.24 meter square is 22,400 centimeter square so now we know that that is given that for 100 centimeter square that is rate of polishing is that is 20 so for 100 centimeter square that is 20 rupees so for this one 22400 centimeter square what will be the rate so again this will cross multiply so this will be 22400 into 20 and divided by 100 so these two zeros get cut so when you multiply this into this you get 4480 that is rupees so this is the answer so we can write a cost of polishing the rhombus shape Table is rupees 4480. The area of a trapezium is 686 centimeters square. If one of the parallel sides exceeds 
the other by 7 cm and the distance between the parent sides is 28 cm you have to find the other side of the trapezium so there are two sides means let, we can consider let the smaller parent side be x so the other side what did they say one parent side exceeds the other by 7 so we can say the larger side parent side exceeds the smaller side by 7 cm so this is uh, we are considered this as x so that the larger side is going to be that is x plus 7 so these things should be noted now what did they say here distance between the parallel sides is 28 centimeter so what we can do distance is given as 28 centimeter so first thing what will you do we are going to find out that because it is a trapezium so the formula for area of trapezium that is half into sum of parallel sides you know trapezium these are the parallel sides so sum of parallel sides into height so now the area is given of trapezium that is 686 so below this we can write as 686 is half into sum of parallel sides so we have considered the sum of these parallel sides because they have not given us the side directly so if this is x the smaller side is x and we have we got this as x plus 7 so these are the sum of parallel sides we are going to add it into 28 because the distance between the parallel sides is given as 28 so the height is 28 so now this same thing you are going to write it over here so when you solve this one it is going to be x plus x plus 7 so it is going to be 2x plus 7 and into 28 so 2 ones are 2 14s are so what will you do here 686 is going to be 14 into 2x plus 7 because now this there are two terms so always put a bracket here so this is very important to put a bracket so this will be the same so when you multiply this one So this is going to be 28x plus this is going to be 98. So now when you take this on this side, so it is going to be 686 minus 98 is 28x. So this is going to be 588. When you subtract this, that is going to be 28x. So 588 divided by this 28 is x. So when you divide this one, you will get here 21. So x is 21 centimeter. So x is the smaller side. So the smaller parallel side is 21 centimeter. So the larger one we have considered that x plus 7 because it exceeds by 7 so that is going to be 21 plus 7 that is going to be 28 centimeter so we can say the other parallel side of the trapezium is 28 centimeter that is what they have asked find the other side of the trapezium a park in the shape of regular octagon so octagon means how many sides do that is octagon means eight has flower beds as shown in figure find the area of flower beds and the area of grassy portion and also find then you have to find the total area means three things you have to find out over here so now so this is the flower bed this is the grassy area and then we have to find the total so now let us go this one the, with the green and the blue ones that uh, it was just a plain one with the black ones and then what I have done I have labeled this one you can label as you wish with the green one and I will also put a line over here to separate the because this was already given so I have put here for the better understanding to show you the triangles so now let us uh, just skip this side for the uh, now we'll see now this will take this triangle so this side is already given that is ac is given that is 10 meter now from here to here this one is given as 26 meters so that will be whatever this distance will be the same as this one so this also should be 26 so just be uh, this one just look what i am doing here so this is 26 so this also this whole thing also should be 26 so out of that this is given as 10 means this cl part is given as 10 so this part is going to be 10 so what remains here is now this and this they are equal parts so from 26 minus 10 so that is going to be 16 from 16 means this will be 8 we are going to divide it by 2 and this side also is going to be 8 so what is that going to be ab also is going to be 8 and jk also is going to be 8 hope this is clear because this figure is a bit tricky you can do it by any other ways also but this is one of the way to do it so now we can consider this one this as we can say h this is the height of it and we don't know 
this one we can consider this as x when we are first we are going to concentrate on this part so now i have written here in triangle abc let bc is equal to x and ab is equal to h this is now here we want to find out this ak is given so can you see here ak means i put this one this is given that is 26 meter because we have considered from looking at this one we can say this also is 26 and now cl cl means this part is given as 10 so ab is going to be as i told you now that is 8 so i put a star over here this ab is 8 so this is what i have explained before so this is written now in triangle abc we can say we will take this one this triangle and this is a right triangle so we can solve this with the help of the pythagoras theorem so this is the hypotenuse side so ac side ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so ac is already given that is 10 10 square is and now we got 8 we got this side as ab as 8 so we can say 8 square and we don't know bc that is x square so when you solve this 100 64 and this will be x square as it is this goes here that will be 100 minus 64 is x square so this is going to be 36 is equal to x square so x is going to be 6 meter so that bc is going to be so this bc is going to be 6 meter so now this f this fb this one now can you see here this whole part is 22 which is given so now this is 6 so this also should be 6 so now what will be this fb fb means it is going to be 22 this 6 and 6 becomes 12 so this that spe this specifically that fb is going to be 10 hope you got this because these are both the similar triangle this and this one this we got as 6 so this also should be 6 but the whole part is given as 22 so this fb is going to be 10 so what this is what i have written this is 10 so fb is 10 now if these things are clear other things are very easy now what did they say area of the flower bed means we have to find out we got all the dimensions now these are the two flower beds if we get of one we can just multiply by two and we get of other so area of flower bed is equal to area of triangle plus area of the rectangle plus area of triangle means this triangle plus this is the rectangle plus this one when you add this one then this is going to be a whole bed that is a trapezium so now what you can do half into in this one there are two ways to do either we do by triangle or we can also do with the help of the trapezium method so we if we know that because this whole side is given this is 22 and now this is also this is given this is 10 so we can also do it because we got this as 10 so here also will be 10 and this whole thing we know that is 22 we can also do by that way or we can do with this triangle because we have already found out the triangle area of rectangle triangle plus area of rectangle plus area of triangle so area of triangle you know half base into height plus this rectangle means length into breadth plus this area of triangle means again half breadth so i'll show you which is the base and which is the height this is a triangle so this is the base and this is the height so we we know the height and we know the base so that is what is here six and eight so now when you solve this one 24 plus 80 plus for this also you will get 24 when you add all this thing you will get here 128 meter square so now this was for one bed and the other bed also is the similar one so we can write here twice into 128 that is going to be 256 meter square so we got the area of the flower beds now the grassy portion we will see the grassy portion is a rectangle so can you see here this is easy this is the grassy portion it is given here grass so it's a rectangle so you know 22 into this 10 because this is the length and this is the width or the breadth we can say both is the same so that is length into width that is 22 into 10 that is 220 meter square so now we got both the things flower bed and we got the grassy this also so the total area they have asked the third thing is the total area of the path that is 256 plus this 220 so that will be 476 meter square now Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. De Souza is renovating his house. He has designed two entrances which are shown in figure. Find the area of his section of the two entrances. So this is a separate and this is one is a separate. Now let us see for the A part first. Now here what we can see here. 
here again whatever is done with the green one i have done the labeling for the better understanding now what we can see the bc see because why i'm going to see for bc because i know this one is 1.7 and this part is 0 0.8 so this is again a right triangle so now let us see for this one so what is that bc is x we can say this is x consider x meter so what we can do here this is the hypotenuse so a b squared is bc square plus ac square or ac square plus bc square both is the same so a b is what 1.7 square and this is ac is 0 0.8 square plus this one we have considered this bc as x so when you solve this one 1.7 into 1.7 that is going to be 289 but then you are going to put a 1 and 2 after 2 you are going to put a decimal so 2.89 0.8 into 0 0.8 that is going to be 64 this one 2 after 2 you are going to put a decimal that is going to be 0 0.64 plus x square when you bring this on this side you are going to subtract it is x square so that is going to be 2.25 is x square so now we are going to square both sides so that is this is 2.84 is this one the square root of that is 1.5 meter 1.5 into 1.5 that is going to be 2.85 so what is x x is bc that is 1.5 meter so now we can see here this is the dose because it is a double dose so this, this is the first one so we can say bdec is one dose so bdec that is a rectangle so area of rectangle that is length times width so what did they do here? They are already given this one. This is the length. And we got this, this part, isn't it? So this will also be the same. So what did we get here? We got here 1.5. So what you can do here, 5 into 1.5, that is going to be 7.5 meters. But I wrote here 1 because this is what we have found out for this one. So I have written that 1. Other door is in the shape of a trapezium. Can you see here? So what are you going to do the additional thing what what is there so area of the trapezium is half into sum of parallel sides into height so half into sum of parallel sides so this is here this we got this is 5 so this also should be 5 till here this is 5 but then additional here is 0. 0.8 for this one this 0. 0.8 so what can you see here so that is 5.8 so be careful 5 plus 0. 0.8 that is 5.8 is the one side and the other side is from here to here and the, this will be the similar one so this will be five so other parallel side is five and the height the height is of course this is going to be the same the height is going to be this one so this is now 1.5 so this is also going to be because both of this one 1.5 1.5 so this is the height so once you know these things 1 by 2 that is going to be 10.8 into 1.5 so when you simplify this one you get 8.1 meter square this is for the second second means this two so now let us see for this one now this is the b part we have to find out what they are the area of the sections so now see here this one separately because i have to scroll a lot so the same thing for this one separately i have pasted over here so now look at here again with the green one whatever i have done that is i have done it separately for the better understanding so now see here or what we can do here this is the, the fourth see directly we cannot find out three because we have to find out this three four and five separate dimensions of this one so first we what we can do because what is given here this four is given and this the total is given can you see here from here to here this is given as three meter so three meter means now it's we can divide it this whole thing is given as three meter so this will should be 1.5 meter and this also should be 1.5 hope this is clear so now th this is four so this side also the opposite side also should be four now this four is given and this so what it is it is easy now this is a rectangle so length is given at the width also is given so we can find out 4 into 1.5 the length into width that is 6 meters square so now what you can see now see here this part this side this the area of this is given as 2.8 meters square so this suppose now we, uh, we can take either this one or this one so we got this as 6 so if this is 2.8 this also should be 2.8 
because both are similar. So what will you do here? 6 minus 2.8. Area of rectangle minus area of triangle. That is 6 minus 2.8. That is area of this third part. So that is going to be 4.8 meter square. So this thing is going to be 4.8 because here this is a ventilator. This is 2.8. Hope this is clear. Huh? So what you have to do, we have to, this is without a ventilator. So this is 2.8, so this should, should, should not be 2.8, but this thing should be separately. This ventilator is there here. So this thing goes in that, that should be 2.8. So it, this will not be similar, sorry for this. It should not be similar. So here we have to find out for this one because here there is no ventilator in this part. So this will be a separate one. So now for this one, so area of 3 is going to be 6 minus 2.8. That ventilator part is gone. So that is going to be 4.2 meter square, that the area of this third part. So now what we can see, this is done, this is done. Now we'll think about this part. So this is again, now this is 6 means this also should be 6, 6 meter square. So we can see area of 5, this will land into it. That is 4 into 1.5, that is 6 meter square. So this is the answer. Find the area of the polygon shown in figure. So these are the figures given. So now let us go for this figure first. So in this one, what we can say, this, this is a rectangle and this is a trapezium. Can you see here? These are the parallel sides given. So this and you, even if it is not given, it is seen that it is a trapezium. Trapezium, you can, you can put it like this, or you can also place it like this one. So, first thing, let us see first the area of the rectangle. So, now this whole part is given, this as 8. So, now what will you do from this one? This part is given as 2.4, and this whole thing is given as 8. This is 8 means this also should. So, we can get this AB. So, what will you do? 8 minus 2.4. So this, what I have done here, length is 8 minus 2.4 because we are looking for rectangle into the breadth. This is 2. So into 2. Hope this is clear to you. So this will be 5.6 into 2. That will be 11.2 centimeters square. Now this is done. Now let us see for this area of this trapezium. Now this is 7. This side is the parent side is 7. So this is 2 means this side should be also 2. So now what is the area of trapezium is formula is half into sum of parent sides into height. So half into, this is going to be 7. So 7 into 2, uh, so this uh, sum means 7 plus 2 into, that is the height is given, this is the height of it, that is 2.4. So this will be half into, this is going to be 9 into 2.4. So 2 ones are 2, 1.2, this is going to be 10.8 centimeter square. So now they said find the area of the polygon, means the whole thing. So what are you going to do? You are going to add this and this one area of the rectangle plus this area of the trapezium. So that is 22 centimeter square. That is the total area of A. Now we will go for this part. So in this one, what we can see, figure B is composed of triangle, two rectangles and a trapezium. Can you see here? This is a, these are two triangles. Oh, sorry, this is one triangle. Triangle. Then we can say this this is also a rectangle and this is this is also a rectangle and this also is a rectangle and this is a trapezium. Can you see? So what we can see? We can see of triangle, two rectangles and it. So now let us see the area of a triangle. So what is that? Half into base into height. Half into base into height. So half into the base is 3.6 into the height is given as 1.2. So this is given as 1.2. Or we can also do because this is a, this one. So we can do one thing. We can put two separately because this is 1.2 means this will be 1.8 into 1.8. So that is going to be first then you have to take the with the help of this Pythagoras term we have to find out this side. 
so that we also can be done or we can take like this 3.6 into 1.2 so 2 ones are 2 0 0.6 so when you multiply this into this that is going to be 2.16 centimeter square now the area of rectangle length into breadth so can you see this one this is the rectangle the length is given as 36 and the breadth is 1 so this is Now you will see the area of trapezium, half of some parallel sides into height. So the sum of parallel sides means 8 plus 36 into 2. So now this is 8 and this is 3.6 into this. Eight point three point six into two. Now that is eleven point six, and then again the rectangle that is length into breadth. Again, you can see the rectangle over here. This is a rectangle that will be eight into two point four. Later on, whatever we got, we are going to put this whole area. So this is nineteen point two. So we are going to calculate all. So what all we got here? 2.16, 3.6, 6 and that is 19.2. When you add all this thing, you will get 36.56 centimeter square. Now we'll see for the third one, that is C. So what I have done, this C part, again, we have, because we have need a lot of scrolling. So this same I have copied over here. So now figure C is composed of four, what we can say, one, two, three, four. These are four triangles, and one is a this is a trapezium. So what we can see now, see here, here you have to be very careful with it. Again, for this one. Now suppose we take here this one, this whole till TR. Can you see here? So this is given as 12. So TR is 12. So now we will see for XR what because now this whatever the dimensions are given, so we'll see for this XR. So that is given as 9. So XR is 9. Then we can see for TY because here TY that is given as 8. So TY is given as X. So now what we need, we need for this one, we we know this part. So then we need this first now TX. Why? We need TX because this we know, this side is 4.2. So we are going to concentrate for this triangle first. So we need this TX. So what will be TX here? So TX is going to be, this will be from this whole part minus this one. We need, we got, we know this XR. XR is 9. So what will you do? TR minus this XR because two things are already given over here. So what will you get? That you will get as Tx means 12 minus 9, that is 3 centimeter. So now what we will see for y, because this is a different shape of triangle and this is again a this level of different measurement. So we will see for yr. So yr will be what? Again, this will be Tr minus what you can do? Minus we can do this one, Ty. So now Ty, you know this is 3. Huh? And this is now, you know, this x, this will be, We need their YR. Sorry for this one, YR. So we know the measurement of this one. This is total is 8. 8 minus this 12. 12 minus 12 minus 8. That is going to be 4. So now what will you do? You will see for area of triangle TXP. So which is TXP here? Now this one. TXP, this triangle. So we, we know this base we got is this is the height. So what will you write here? Half into base into height, that will be 3 into 4.4 because we already got the value of Tx, this is, that is which is the base 3. So when you simplify this one, you get 6.6. .6. So now area of the trapezium xyzp is equal to sum of half, sum of parallel sides into height. So now what will you do? Half into sum of xyzp. xy. That is QP. So we're not said, but that is QP. Yeah. 
So that is x y q p. So now what is that? So which are the parallel sides? These two are the parallel sides. So now what will you write here? 4.4 plus 2 into the height is 5. So because why, why are we, we are writing here 5? Which is the height given here? This and these are the parallel sides. And this will be this one. We got this here xy. Now see here because this is total is tr. tr is 12. So from that, uh, t, uh, no, we can say tx. tx is 3. And yr, yr is 3 plus 4. So 3 plus 4 means 7. And total is given, this tr is given as 12. So 12 minus 7. So that is going to be 5. So this part, xy is going to be 5. So hope you got this one. Why did I write 5? Because this is the height of the trapezium. So this is given as 5. So now this one, 6.4 into 5. So this is going to be 3.2. So 3.2 into 5, that is going to be 16 centimeters square. Now we will see for the area of triangle QYR. This one. So now this is 2. And uh, this we got as yr we got as 4. So can you see here? Half into 4 into 2. So that is going to be 4 centimeters square. Again for area of triangle xyt. This one xyt. So now we got this one ty as 8. And this is 3.2. This is 3.2. Sorry, this is 3.2 and this is 8. So that is going to, when you simplify, that is going to be 12.8. And the last triangle, uh, triangle that is R, Y, S, because there are many triangles it is and all of different sides. Huh? So this one. So now we know the dimensions. This, the height is 3.2 and this Y, R, that we got is 4. So we are going to put in this one. So this is 3.2 and this one, when you simplify, that is 6.4. So when you're going to, because they are asked for the total area, so you're going to add all these things. So 6.6, 6, 16, 4, 12.8, and 6.4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 things. So this is going to be 45.8 centimeter square. It's a long problem, but be careful. And you can do step by step. Now see here the parallel sides of a trapezium are 5 cm and 13 cm and the length of non parallel sides is 5 cm each. Find the area of a trapezium. First what I have done, I have drawn the trapezium. So it becomes easy for the calculation. So this is a trapezium. And they said the parallel sides of a trapezium are 5 cm and 13 cm. So this is 5 because these are the sum of the parallel side. So this is 5. And this whole part, you can add one thing over here. This whole thing is 13, 13 centimeter. So now what you can see, because this is 5, this part also then we have to divide it here. We can say this part is 5. So now from this 13, we have this one triangle for this one side and this side. Both are going to be the same. So 13, from this one, this 5 is gone, minus 5. So what remains is 8. So you're going to divide this 8 by 2. So what is that going to be 4? So this side also is going to be 4 and this also is going to be So I put with a yellow color, different color to differentiate. So this also should be 4 and this side also should be 4. So that is important. Now see parallel sides are, that is what I've written. A is 5 and B is, we can consider this whole thing, this as B, that is 13. And non-parallel sides is given as, and the length of non-parallel side is 5 centimeter each. So that is 5 centimeters. So difference between the lengths of the parallel sides, as I told you now, from this 13, we are going to subtract this one, 5, because this is 5 already given. So we get 8. So 8 divide difference into two equal parts. That is 8 divided by 2. That is 4 centimeters. That is what I explained now. Now what are you going to do using the Pythagoras theorem? Hypotenuse square is base square plus height square. So which is the, now suppose now we take this part. 
this is a triangle so this thing is already given because it is given non parallel sides are 5 cm it's given right so this is 5 this also is 5 so now see here this part is given so now this we already found out now so we want to find out this one so this is the hypotenuse so hypotenuse side square is base square plus height square base square plus so 5 square is 4 square plus we don't know the height so 25 is equal to 16 plus height square so 25 minus 16 is going to be height square so that will be 9 is equal to height square so height is going to be because if you square both sides so that is going to be 3 centimeters so this is 3 centimeters so hope you got this one so this came as 3 centimeter so now what we will do we will do for the area of the trapezium is half a plus b means that is the sum of parallel sides into height so a we already know that is 5 and b is 13 into this height we got as 3 so now what we can do here this is going to be 18 into 3 so when you simplify this one so this is going to be 27 centimeter square so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts thank you